Hi guys, I'm Adam Wilborn from What Culture. And I'm the little engine that could not. <laughs> Don't forget, if you want to listen to the news when you're out and about, you can do so by searching for What Culture Wrestling on either iTunes, Spotify, wherever you get your podcast from. But coming up today, a huge title match has been confirmed for WrestleMania 36. Potential spoilers for tonight's episode of Raw. Another twist in the Wednesday Night War. The next NXT UK takeover has been set. This is the news. We are going to kick things off with a little bit of chittity chat, chittity chat. What is that? It's just a bunch of crap I've made up. We're going to talk about the Mandalorian. You know that Star Trek, Mark and Mindy, Nanu, Nanu. Live thing. long and I'm your father. That's Luke. the one. Luke, I'm your dad. That one. Basically, Sasha Banks is going to be on that TV show, that Star Trek extravaganza, that's that War <laughs> of the Stars, comments. Battlestar Banks Lactica. This is terrible Ooh. platter. <laughs> the story, it comes from the Matt Men Pro Wrestling Podcast, who confirmed uh, over the weekend that Sasha is set to have some kind of role in season two of The Mandalorian, which I believe debuts in October. Uh, she's already filmed her scenes. It's all wrapped, but there's currently no word on what, how big her role will be, uh, how much screen time we'll have, but she's going to be on the show, and that's pretty cool. This has also been confirmed by Pro Wrestling Sheets Ryan Satin. And it could partly explain her absence from WWE. Now, mm. this is just us putting two and two together to get 28 or something. Um, but, you know, she's been off TV. There was uh, reports of an injury. Their injury was then discredited by some people who reported that, hey, she's not actually injured. It's a work and all this. And then there was a report the other week that she's been cleared to return. So there's a lot going on with Sasha Banks at the moment. Um, either way... I just want to see her back on WWE television, to be honest. Yeah, I think it's arguably one of the only things left that can save this weird Bailey title reign, which I've consistently <laughs> said they told her to turn heel, beat up the Bailey buddies, and cut her hair, and then just went, I think that's it now. Yeah. Um, they need something, and I think Sasha Banks could do that. But this is great news. It's fantastic to see her such yeah. something like something as major as the Mandalorian. I think she could do a really good job. Yeah, here's hoping. Like it, it, it's a really good platform for her. It's a really good opportunity to spread her wings into acting and so forth. Good for her. Mm. But what I see her batter baby Yoda, <laughs> pick him up and like hammer throw him into the stars or something. That's Just... what they could do. They could do for Sasha coming back. She should do some training footage with baby Yoda on her back, a la Star Wars. There I have go. actually seen it. Yes. So. I think it could work. I think that's how you turn a face. I'm with you. Mm. Uh, right, let's move on mm. and talk uh, about some fallout from last night's NXT TakeOver. Spoilers ahead, but then again, if you're watching this, stop it. Go and watch NXT TakeOver because it's amazing, then come back. Right, as a result of last night's match between Rhea Ripley and Bianca Belair, which Rhea Ripley retained her NXT Women's Championship, we now have confirmed Rhea Ripley versus Charlotte Flair at WrestleMania 36 for the NXT Women's Championship. Mm. After Rhea Ripley defeated Bianca Belair last night, in came Charlotte Flair, dropped her, uh, and said, so I thought about it, and I'll see you at WrestleMania. She then uh, laid her out with a natural selection, and as she was leaving, she thought, you know what, I've not forgotten what you did, Bianca Belair. Chucked her into the steps as well. Brilliantly received. Um, and I think it's going to be a phenomenal, phenomenal match. Yeah, so WWE.com followed up. Official announcement. It's the second official match for WrestleMania 36. I think we all expected it. Yeah. We all expected it to end up this way. But I wonder with the little, you know, the little throwing Bianca into the steps at the end, I wonder if maybe they're going to try and morph this into a triple threat. I hope not. Maybe. It I might. hope not. As much as I'd love to see Bianca Belair, and um, you, you tweeted about her gear last night, which looked amazing. Yeah, it was tremendous. Um, as much as I'd like to see her in there, I don't want to muddy the waters with another really mm. epic women's title match where you've just made it a triple threat. And I feel like yeah. Charlotte Flair would be like, oh, come on. I think it's an interesting one. I think Belair does deserve a spot on the WrestleMania card. Yes. Uh, and I would love to see her on the show. Maybe challenge her for the SmackDown Women's title. Maybe she gets called up. That'd be cool. Um, but, you know, this is a match a lot of people have been looking forward to. It's two of the most physical, imposing women in the company beating the tar out of each other. I think it'll be a lot of fun. For God's sake, don't job Rhea out to Charlotte Flair, though. Yeah, just like five minutes, it's over, baby. Yeah, I, but yeah. I, I, this officially makes me all right with the Women's Royal Rumble result. I wasn't yeah. up until now. I was really annoyed that they didn't give Shayna the win. But now, apparently, as I discovered last week, she's a vampire. Yeah, Gangrel Jr. So. Um, and this makes a lot of sense for transitioning yeah. Charlotte Flair onto NXT. Totally and okay. And I, th I think the people I've spoken to already about this have really had their eyes opened of like, oh, 
like how big, I think this is a real step towards how people, the really casual fans realizing how big NXT is. Yeah, and how Because once you explain it to them, that it isn't like a step down or a, it's a side step, it's just like challenging the Raw yeah. Women's Champion if you're already on SmackDown or anything. Yeah. I think this is really good stuff. It, it's, it's good, uh, and hopefully it'll attract more viewers to the NXT product as well. Uh, next story of the day, potential spoilers for tonight's episode of Raw. So, I mean, I don't know how spoilery this really is, but backstage at Raw, according to PW Insider tonight, we are going to have MVP and Big Show. The interesting thing about this is that MVP has been negotiating for a producer's role and confirmed during an appearance on the Booker T podcast over the weekend that he has accepted. He's going to be a backstage producer for WWE, but he has been on TV as well recently. So if he's in the house, he might just be working that job or he could be back on TV last week. He welcomed Drew McIntyre to the VIP lounge and got kicked over his own sofa, which was kind of fun to watch. Uh, so maybe we're going to get something between him and Drew. He wanted to be Drew's manager. He said, hey man, you need me at WrestleMania, otherwise you're going to lose. Drew was like, nah, MVP, you're 46. You haven't been on TV in 10 years. Off. Uh, Big Show was an interesting one as well because recent reports suggested that his recent return to assist Kevin Owens and Samoa Joe was a one-off handshake type deal. He wasn't there to stay. He could just be backstage seeing his pals, having a few, I don't know, what, what does Big Show drink? Water, pro probably? He's, he's looking jacked now. He, he, he is. But some of the best shape of his career. So. Every time he goes away, he comes back and he's like five stone lighter. It's impressive <laughs> work. Um, maybe he'll be on TV, maybe he won't be. Maybe we'll get him interrupting this advertised Seth Rollins sermon thing uh, that WWE are promoting for tonight's event. But either way, could see both, could see one, could see none. That's why it's potential spoilers and not guaranteed spoilers. Mm. Yeah, I, I think... I love Big Show, but I don't want to see him tonight, really. And yeah. MVP, I think him getting his producer roles is really, really good stuff. Yeah, good for him. Made for life. Uh, right, let's move on and talk about a little bit about All Elite Wrestling, but also, in a way, talk about <laughs> WWE, because uh, some very interesting developments. Uh, this is according to Fightful Select. Um, the Heritage Bank Centre, uh, which is in Cincinnati, Ohio, of course, uh, formerly known as the US Bank Arena, in case you are wondering, is apparently refusing to host any AEW events due to their existing relationship with WWE. Now, this was caused by John Moxley, in fact. John Moxley has been kind of pushing for AEW to run a show in Cincinnati, and obviously that would make sense to go to somewhere like the Heritage Bank Centre. However, with their relationship with WWE, um, they ran a house show in December last year. They've also hosted Cyber Sunday all the way back in 2006, Starcade in 2018. Mm. As a result of all that, they are apparently refusing to have any relationship with AEW, just in case, one would assume, that Vince gets wind of it and goes, well, guess we'll go yeah. to literally any other arena in Cincinnati, Ohio, instead of you, because... <laughs> <laughs> That's Vince McMahon. Yeah, this is business, isn't it? Right? Yeah. It's like any little advantage, anything like that, you got to lean on it. And, you know, this uh, this building obviously values the relationship with WWE enough to say, hey, competition, bugger off. It's, yeah, fair enough. It's business. It's, it's business. interesting. It'll be interesting to see if this is something that is just a, you know, a unique one off occurrence or whether or not it's going to start happening more and more. Yeah. Now, WWE's finally seem to recognize the genuine threat that is AEW. Yeah, let's see how it pans out. It'll be interesting to see. But I guess at the moment, AEW is running slightly smaller buildings, so maybe it's not going to be such an issue at the moment. But, you know, you never know how that company might grow or whatever. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, and we're going to wrap things up with a real quick story. WWE themselves have announced the next NXT UK TakeOver. It's in Dublin. It's Sunday, the 26th of April. It's at the Free Arena in Dublin uh, the last one was really good the last takeover yeah. was really great spectacular highlighted I think by that tremendous Jordan Devlin Tyler Bate match but there was Walter versus Joe Coffey as well lots of good stuff on that show it's in Ireland maybe Jordan Devlin will have a nice big role the current cruiserweight champion I can't wait to see what kind of card they put together. Him versus Walter could be pretty sick. Oh. I mean, Walter's not challenging for the Cruiserweight title, obviously, but you know. I, I, re I really like it. I think it's fantastic news. Uh, biggest city in the world, of course, Yeah. because it's always Dublin. Um, and I, I, I'm, I, I think it's the right decision to make and it's going to be so exciting because, you know, off the back of WrestleMania, you need something to keep things going. And, and certainly the rub that NXT UK will hopefully get off all the coverage of that and going, you know, if you've seen any events in Dublin, you know the sort of raucous crowd you can get in there, and I think they're going to do wonderful stuff, especially, I agree with someone yeah. like Jordan Devlin on the card. Absolutely. Right, let's move on.
on to your Twitter questions at WhatCultureWWE, of course, if you want to get in touch with us. First question comes from our very own Ben Roy Turner, oh. who says, yo. Apropos of nothing, yo. <laughs> yo. Yo. Andy Murray and Adam Wilbur, what match do you want to see at hashtag WrestleMania? We've got two matches confirmed. Yeah, what else would you we like do. To see on uh, earnestly, I would love to see Goldberg versus Roman Reigns with the Brock Lesnar format between him and Goldberg the other year, but we're not going to get that because Roman Reigns is going to be facing the Fiend. Um, we think. So the match I would like to see is Hulk Hogan in a handicap match. Right. And his opponents will be. Bobby Lashley, Good. Braun Strowman, mm -hmm. Big Show, <laughs> Keith Lee, <laughs> Dominic Dijakovic, Samoa Joe, and Hiroki Sumi. Because Hulk Hogan is not a very nice man, and I would like to see him get battered by the biggest, beefiest boys. <laughs> yeah, I just want to see Hulk Hogan get his ass kicked by mountains of beef. Yeah. Which is what these guys are. So take that, Hulk Hogan, you bad person. I mean, I don't know how I follow that, but I'm just going to say the match that I've wanted to see for quite some time now, and I've pitched on numerous occasions, Goldberg versus Matt Riddle. Oh, yes, of course. Also, massive congratulations to the Broserweights, who are, of course, the new yeah. NXT Tag Team Champions, defeating the Undisputed Era last night in a really good match as yeah. well. How many fish could Bobby Fish fry if Bobby Fish could fry fish? How many, I liked uh, Nigel's, how many legs could Bobby Fish yeah. break if Bobby <laughs> Fish could break legs? Uh, right, Hershey Mayo gives us our second question of the day. Imagine uh, Hershey Mayo. It's like mayonnaise that's also chocolate. Yeah. I like it. Uh, it's funny because his name reversed is uh, he's at Mayo Hershey, so they are reversed. Hey. Uh, says, looks like Undisputed Era will be raising havoc on SmackDown and Raw since they're losing all the gold. Who do you want to see them feud with first? Such a boring answer for, for this really good question, but uh, Seth and his gang of goons, yeah. I think. Like, they're the most obvious foursome, foursome, hey, oi, oi, on the roster at the moment. Uh, obviously, there's some alignment issues there, but, you know, Undisputed Era could absolutely play faces for a while. Everyone cheers them anyway. They get big pops, they get big chants, they get the boom, they get the baby, they get everything. Why not? Let's do it. If not them, the club, I know we realised we'd have to chuck another member in, and Finn Balor's not going back there anytime <laughs> soon. But I think, you know, it could work definitely. And I, I, I just, I love Kyle O'Reilly and he's lost his guitar yeah. now. Yeah. And I'm really sad about that. Yeah, blame Peter Doon. But also, yes, they did call him Peter Doon. <laughs> Matthew Riddell. It's good um, stuff. Yeah, I, I'm sad about Undisputed Era if they do eventually get transitioned onto Raw and SmackDown, but they have kind of done pretty much everything they can. And there's a wonderful storyline still to tell with... Adam Cole desperately clinging on to the NXT Championship, but if you if they needed a bit of a re refresh or a reboot, going on to Raw or SmackDown, don't mess this up, Vince. Would yeah, be fantastic. Vince, you man. Uh, final question today comes from Christopher Blade, who says, "How old will Roman Reigns' grandchildren be when he stops feuding with King Corbin?" <laughs> in all seriousness, in all seriousness, no. This feud has run far too long, and since WWE is insistent that it continues, how could you make it interesting? Do you add a new person. Or do you make it a kennel from hell match? I'm here for the kennel from hell, y'all. If you know my taste in wrestling, you know I love terrible nonsense. And the kennel from hell is one of the all-time so bad it's good matches. So yes, sign me up. In all honesty, I don't think there's any way you can save it. I think the perfect way to end it was the Usos and Roman Reigns getting the revenge with the dog food and stuff. Mm. That was fine. Why are they still going? It's like an old school WWE feud that just keeps on going and going. The kind of stuff we used to complain about like a year or two ago. Stop it. We're bored. We're tired. Who still gives a hoot? Find me one person on this planet who earnestly still enjoys this feud. And I won't eat my hat because I won't wear a hat, but I'll, I'll say sorry. Mm. So they're having a one more match at Super Showdown. Is that right? <sighs> Is that what's happening? The, the steel cage match? <laughs> I guess so, yeah. But if they're doing that, all I'm thinking of is if they're doing that, then we still have the chamber before WrestleMania, as well as probably Fastlane or whatever they're going to call it. Oh, what's it? I don't know. Anyway, but why not have Roman Reigns, King Corbin, and four different dogs in the Elimination <gasps> Chamber pods? Just an idea. I'd like that. <laughs> I love you. the Kennel from Hell match, and that's a modern version of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm One of them's like a really, you know, vicious yeah. dog, and the other's just like nice little sausage dog. Yeah, we could have a sausage. We could have an Alsatian. We could have a Doberman. We could have a Snoop dog. Yes. We could have, we could have Snoopy. All right. Right. All your favourite dogs. Uh, Brian from The Simpsons. Yeah. Um, Good. <laughs> Santa's little helper. 
Oh yeah, the one from Play Days. Yeah, <laughs> I'm with you. Right, let's move on to today's and finally, I just wanted to share this with you, uh, the customary Triple H photo that got taken with Poppy after her performance at NXT TakeOver, uh, of course, last night. I love Poppy. But, little game for you, a little bit of fun in the comments. I want you to tell me, who is this in the photo with Triple H? Wrong answers only in the comments. <laughs> Is it like- It looks like the latest signing for WWE, and I guarantee you can trick people who don't know that this is Poppy, that this is the new sensation that WWE have signed. Yeah. Wrong answers only. Who is this with Triple H in the photo? David Bowie. She looks like a power attire. ranger, actually. She does, yeah. Uh, let us know in the comments anyway, and let us know your thoughts on all of today's news stories in the comments. Uh, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And subscribe to What Culture Wrestling on either iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts from for daily wrestling podcasts. Myself and the Daddy Boys will, of course, be previewing Monday Night Raw a little bit later on today. Plus, let us know your thoughts and your Twitter questions on Twitter at What Culture WWE. Watch there, follow both of us. You can follow him at, at Andy H. Murray, the H stands for Herbert. Just like that name. Yeah, good. Uh, you can follow me at Adam Wilborn. Go on there and say how nice I look on all my honeymoon photos. Or, nice. as most people have, just remind me how much I am punching. Uh, you can also let us know your thoughts on Twitter at WhatCultureWWE, as I said. But for now, my thanks to Andy Murray. Thank you for watching, and we will see you soon.